In this video, I'm going to talk about how the three different planes of motion can be trained to help your golf swing. The first plane of motion we're going to cover is the sagittal plane. It's really important to understand that all movements occur in all three planes of motion. However, each movement will have a primary plane that works that movement. So with the sagittal plane, if we imagine face on, I was taking a pane of glass and I was cutting the human body in half straight through the middle left to right, the movement that would occur would be flexion extension. So we can only move in flexion extension predominantly. We're gonna go through two exercises that focus on the sagittal plane, plane as a primary mover and how you can train these in the gym. So one of the best exercises we can do for lower body sagittal plane is a squat variation. This particular one is gonna be the dumbbell split squat, which we can do with different options like in a barbell. Predominantly, this is working vertical force in the lower body. And as we can see, there's a flexion extension through the hip, the knee, and the ankle. So they're having to work those primary muscles in that movement pattern, whereas the upper body stays in quite stable. So this is very much a knee and hip dominant sagittal plane exercise. So now we can look at an upper body sagittal plane exercise where it's just working particularly the shoulder muscles, so a shoulder press variation, a vertical pushing movement pattern. We can see how the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists are having to work in flexion extension, whereas the trunk is predominantly stable, no real movement, and the lower half is just working through stability through the ground and the core. So we can get the same sagittal plane exercise to work the key muscle groups, but upper body pressing only. next plane of motion we're going to cover is the frontal plane where movement occurs horizontally so if we take that pane of glass again and we split the body in half from front to back so straight down the side and motion will only occur in that plane so we're going to cover again a couple of exercises that focus on movement a movement pattern in this main plane of motion a lower body frontal plane exercise can be a raised lateral lunge so a night a couple of inches high box you're just going to do a side lunge off the box with the lead foot as we can see that's working those lateral hip stability muscles to have to kind of stabilize in that sideward motion keeping everything stable through the upper body and then powerfully driving up in that horizontal fashion moving into an upper body frontal plane exercise is a dumbbell lateral raise so standing nice and tall, we can see how we're just working the shoulder muscles predominantly in that lateral motion, whereas the rest of the body is having to stabilize from the ground up. Final plane of motion is the transverse plane where predominantly all rotation occurs at specific joints. So we chop the body, that plane of glass from top to bottom, almost imagine he's gonna put a dagger through the center of his head to the floor, the body would only be able to rotate around that axis. Naturally with the golf swing being a rotational sport in motion, lots of golfers focus on rotational exercises in the gym. But as we've highlighted, it's really important to move the body through all three planes of motion and develop it in a well-rounded, integrated fashion in your program. The lower body exercise we're gonna focus on will focus on that rotational force. So if we were to go into a squat jump position, and as we see, we're rotating 90 degrees, as we load, we're rotating through the hip, through the spine, creating momentum to go in one way in a rotational fashion to propel the body in a different direction. So another exercise we wanna focus on that integrates rotational movement pattern and also introduces a little bit more of the rotational muscles through the trunk is a rotational med ball throw. So if we go into like almost a golf type posture, and we're just focusing on trying to load into one side, see how everything's rotating, quite similar to the golf swing, rotating to the hip, rotating the trunk and spine again, and then we create full rotation to release the ball and try and utilize the whole body from the ground up in that rotational force production. If you'd like to learn more how the planes of motion work in the golf swing, subscribe to the channel to see future videos.